Good morning, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live, and uh, we're going to be covering several little topics here this morning on our news broadcast, the flooding over in India, just at a biblical proportion, so to speak. Uh, I hate to use that just as a cliche, but it did remind me, and I'm going to share a little bit of that here in just a moment here with you, of what it must have looked like terrifying for people on the earth when that flood first began. Uh, you know, some, what, gosh, I don't know, uh, about 5,000 years, 4,500 years ago, 5,000 years ago, I guess, is what we would actually have that time frame being there. We're talking about the Ukraine issue going on, also BRICS, uh, Israel still negotiating out their place in the BRICS nations there. Uh, also, Jim Jordan uh, defending uh, Elon Musk on Twitter. I love him or hate him, whatever you want to do there. Uh, nonetheless, it is obvious that Twitter is being targeted, and I, for one, am kind of happy that finally you can post some things on Twitter without being censored. Uh, so we're going to get into those things right now, and don't forget our Patreon channel. Those of you that uh, are subscribed, we thank you, and those that are not, you might want to see some things. We do have some exclusive content that we share there, including recently, uh, we just this is our third one we've released here in the last week, about a megalodon-sized shark, but it is a great white shark, and uh, the images are very interesting. Uh, let's go right into this here. Over in India, RT was, report, was showing some of the best footage of this right here. Um, and uh, just look at the torrential waters coming. Look, I mean, unbelievable the amount of water. I mean, we've seen some flooding over the years there, but uh, this here was happening in India, and I think they do talk about this being record-breaking rains there, causing these floods there. Uh, and uh, like I said, it's just uh, unbelievable what is actually happening over in India. Every Everywhere you look, whether it's shops, whether these rivers, et cetera, of course, it is uh, more centrally located. I forget up in the highlands of, uh, uh, you know, of India there where this is taking place at there. But, uh, I mean, literally, I would have to say hundreds of thousands of people affected by this type flooding there. And just, uh, like I said, it, it's just, it's, it blew my mind when I saw the images there. Uh, we've seen some pretty serious flooding, like I said, over the last couple of years here, but this is really getting nuts there. does remind me of the Planet X uh, uh, system and that coming, and uh, that's something I do want to share some updates with you here. Uh, maybe this weekend we can talk about that there, about uh, the effects that it's having here on the Earth, though. Uh, anyway, let's move on to other, other news as well here. Um, Russia is saying they will treat the F-16s in Ukraine as a nuclear threat, according to Foreign Minister Lavrov. Uh, he has stated that there uh, in, a re in recent comments there, so the U.S. and NATO uh, satellites create the risk of a direct armed confrontation with Russia, and this may lead to catastrophic consequences, according to Lavrov, warned in his interview with Letna.ru on Wednesday. Uh, I can certainly see how that will certainly ratchet up everything. As I've said to you before, there is an all-out assault by uh, NATO and the Biden administration for bringing down Russia at all costs. There's been a lot of talk of nuclear weapons. Uh, we shared in a broadcast just, uh, I think, yesterday about Russia even willing to bring up, from some of the intel we have there, uh, untested weapons uh, for fear of just how devastating they would be, something they developed after the Second World War, uh, no doubt with the help of Nazi scientists that they had captured. So we're going to be going into uh, other issues on that later there. Also, the BRICS nation to introduce a gold-backed reserve currency says here, remember back when the Russian-Ukraine war had just started and I predicted that Russia and China would launch their own gold-backed currency. At the time, this idea sounded completely foreign, and as I ridiculed, and I was ridiculed for bringing it up today, it just became a reality. 41 plus countries will look like they could be returning to a gold standard. There you go. It's official. BRICS planning to introduce a new trading currency backed by gold uh, at August summit. Uh, the gold standard will be a great benefit to strengthening the single currency. 41 countries have applied for BRICS membership, and that does include Israel. I've got direct connections right at the top in Israel. They are trying to uh, get negotiated out as being a member of the BRICS nation there. 
Uh, I kind of find that interesting. The talks are ongoing still yet. This is why Netanyahu went to Beijing. Uh, that was what I was, was being told about on that issue there. Uh, one other thing here in closing I want to share with you. This here, a clip here from Twitter here. Uh, uh, and I think this is actually uh, this is Jim Jordan where he is defending Elon Musk on Twitter there. And uh, I want to play a little clip of this mainly because I just... Uh, you know, like I said, whether you like Elon Musk or not, it makes no difference there. The point is, is that finally uh, we are getting some freedom to be able to share things on Twitter uh, that we hadn't had before. So Jim Jordan uh, is uh, dealing with those that are attacking uh, the Twitter uh, company now, especially owned by Elon Musk. Listen in. Why are you harassing Twitter? Uh, Congressman, thanks for the question. As you might know, the FTC's work on Twitter goes back a decade, back in 2000. I'm not talking about a decade. I'm talking about now. Back Twelve in demand letters in 10 weeks, 300, over 350 separate requests you've demanded of Twitter. Why are you harassing them? Twitter has a history of lax security and privacy policies. You've asked for every single communication relating to Elon Musk, not communications that he just sent to someone or some or communications he received, but any time he's mentioned. That that actually seems more, actually more than harassment. That seems like almost an obsession. Why why the why why such an intense focus? So, Congressman, again, it was found that Twitter's lax privacy policies allowed unauthorized users to co-opt Twitter accounts, including that of Fox News. Subsequently, Twitter voluntarily entered into a consent order with the FTC. Here's, here's Unfortunately, what you wrote in December, found, Madam Chair. Here's what you wrote in December. Identify all journalists and other members of the media to whom Twitter has granted access since Musk bought the company. You want to know the name of every journalist a private company has talked to? Think that's consistent with the First Amendment? Congressman, as a former journalist, I take extremely seriously the valuable work that they do and understand that there can be instances in which government action is unjustifiably Particularly, particularly Madam Chair, if I, could, particularly, if I could just interject, particularly in the context here. I mean, it's bad enough if you got government asking a private company about who are the journalists you're talking to. You name four of them and say, we want the other names of any journalists you may, in fact, be communicating with. That's bad enough. And I think a threat to the First Amendment freedom of the press. But in the context of giving us information about how government had suppressed speech on these platforms that's the context you're asking for i think that's particularly troubling don't you congressman the consent decree that we have prohibits twitter from sharing personal information with third parties so at any rate there jim uh jim uh jordan there uh congressman jim jordan really challenging those that are that are coming against uh, uh twitter and their demand for information so there is a true fight for uh, freedom of the press, freedom uh, of everything, quite frankly, freedom of religion, you name it. It is out there. And uh, so I wanted to share that with you. I'll put the link in the description for you so you can see the rest of this for yourself. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Look forward to doing some biblical teachings this weekend. So uh, be stay tuned there. Uh, and I think also our last one was over on Danoon Institute. If you haven't actually caught that one there, uh, you might want to do that. That's pretty pretty in depth. It's going to take some really some deep thinking to follow that particular message there that we did on uh, Danoon Institute there. So uh, in fact, let's see here. Okay, we're actually dealing with that a different issue altogether there. Let me see if I can quickly pull that up for you, Danoon. Um, just so you can see what we had over there in, in the event that you have not uh, seen this particular teaching. I think it's very fascinating. Um, let's see here. Oh, I spelled my, spelled the name wrong there. Let's see here. Let's try it again. Here we go. Danoon Institute there. Um, here we go. Rending the veil. What, it, what it revealed. Now, uh, you actually have a 30 second clip here. It's going to take you to Patreon mainly because there are some things in this message that I shared that I think are um, pretty a little bit risky here for the platform that you see right now. So we did put it there to where you would see only a clip of it there um, on Danoon Institute. Um, and then you'll go to iConnect and catch the rest of it there. 
but uh, I go into why the veil was really rent, why, what it revealed, uh, and how it is a type of what goes on in your own life there. But we get into uh, some names there that seem to be flag words here on this particular platform. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live. Thank you for listening. You have a blessed day.